So good getting to a really remote river mouth. Far north Queensland in Gulf Country. Another river that I've never been to before. Love it. This is what it's all about. It's been a tough, tough day to get to here. We are friendly. We bring no harm. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> Still good morning. It's been a huge morning prepping everything, um, putting the boat on and fixing up a few little bits and pieces. Yeah, it's just been a big morning prepping, but we wanted to get everything right because this mission we're about to go where no man has gone before. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people have done it before. People have probably been to this to this river mouth by boat um, from somewhere else. I would imagine, you know, pro crabbers, pro barra fishermen. Um, but to go where we're going by land is, um, I don't know who's done it, but it's going to be it's going to be a challenge. So. Only station workers. Station workers. They yeah. wouldn't have been fishing, they would have been working. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. So we're going to sort of be, you saw where we went yesterday, we're going in that direction, but then we're probably going to be cutting our own tracks across the salt pans and stuff, so, um, and just trying to get to a good spot way down to put the boat in and then push to the mouth, sleep in the trees in the hammocks. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be good. So that's why it took a while, because we just want to make sure we have everything going super simple, like, like normal, not much food, we've got a bit of flour. Um, some oats, some chilli, a couple of potatoes. We're going to do a beer battered um, barra and potatoes, chips. Yep. That's about it, eh? Got the important things, water and lures. And coffee. Yep, and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the most important things. All right, we're going to hit the tracks. Might send the drone up on the way so you guys can see where we are and probably see you guys on the river. with a brand new car stack. too bad but you can see on top it's just like soup underneath quite hard but you're just spinning in it when the quad comes in it's amazing but we're going to get a cover for the tinny because that thing's getting absolutely hammered coming straight for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he must be a big bull. By himself. 
Just my baby. Just yep, that's a bull. He got us just then, I think. Jesus, a good sight. He is, isn't he? Well, let's ask him when you need him. <laughs> <laughs> Get slung around by that thing. Look at that. You watch him pick up our scent as he comes around here and the wind blows us onto him. See? Let's check this fuel situation. So, as you guys saw a couple episodes ago, we lost our jerry can on the road somewhere, and this is the makeshift one. But because it's full of fuel, it's actually spilling into the into the hull, which sucks. Well, it's not too much. That's good. Okay, so the plan from here, this is about as far as Jordan and I have come, um, and as you can see, there's no tracks from here. So, I've got a general idea where the river is, um, and then we just get the map and the drone try and follow the high ground aim for that ridge over there yeah yeah so you can see a bit of a clearing over there mm -hmm. maybe we head there and then send the drone up and have a look see where we are good plan great plan okay but yeah we want to go kind of way over there somewhere yeah. so i'll show you on the map but i reckon we're 100 k's from the coast maybe a bit less in a straight line in a straight line yeah i'd say less than 100 less than 100 in a straight line um, and between us and there, there's obviously it's just salt pan and high ridge and salt pan and high ridge so we've got quite a hike ahead of us but yeah i'm gonna look on the phone now pull up the maps okay i don't know if you guys can see this but that's us you can see that the way we're facing the direction and ideally we want to get to that junction in the river just there to put the boat in it'd be even better if we can get further but i think that's going to be it so and then we've got to push right out to the river mouth we're going to camp out here at the mouth so yeah long way to go yet but this is the fun of it so we'll send the drone up in a sec and you guys get to see this amazing countryside
not good. We can do it. This is the one we just on the map. We just got to get around this, and then we can start heading, heading the towards the river. Yeah, this is the next obstacle here, guys. Oh, you can already feel it's like slippery. Oh yeah, we just go out a little bit further. Whoa. Then you could probably punch it through there. Oh, this looks like a quagmire, doesn't it? Surprised you haven't got a rod out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Some big barriers in here. Oh, that's, that's hard as. Not in here. <laughs> <laughs> the edge is hard. Yeah, uh, I'm not liking that. Maybe we push up a bit further, look for somewhere a little bit. Yeah. A little bit easier to cross. If you were just out here to have fun, you'd do it, but because we're trying to get somewhere to fish, I don't want to spend the middle of the day bogged, digging, winching. You guys would probably enjoy it there at home on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, we got to get over there. Punched it through here, come up over the ridge and then slammed on the brakes when I saw this pit here. Should have walked it first day. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, low range, I'll try and crawl out of it.
good stuff, mate. Whew. I thought we got ourselves into a bit of a sticky situation there. Log number two. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. Look at this nice clearing just there, we should have driven. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't ideal, but turned out pretty good, luckily. <clears throat> It's just not the sort of thing you want to happen out here. You don't want to get in any kind of trouble because we're a long way from help. But we're heading in this general direction now. That's why I had to cross all that. This looked like the safest area to cross. Now we've got some high ground to get through, which is good. Um, to get to this junction in the river where I'm hoping to put the boat in. So. It is so hot out here, guys. So hot. We've literally come maybe two kilometers around the corner. We've come across this other kind of wet landing. You can see some water over there too. Something in the Which we weren't expecting, but we've tried to tip it over and we can't. So I'm going to bring the quad around here and try and winch it across. Lift it back up on its feet. Yep. Stop rolling this thing. As I said to Jordan, we got to stop coming through. I came in on a bit of an angle through these washouts. This trailer obviously doesn't like it. We've done the wheel track the same as the quad wheel track on purpose, but it's pretty narrow. It needs to be wider. I think you just said to me, good riding. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like 20 meters yeah, back. <laughs> and then I rolled the bloody trailer. Oh, damage the boat. Oh, my baby. That'll pop out. Give it a kick later. Yeah. Got a bit soft there turning around. Yeah. I was just about to pull up and then I'm like, oh, oh no. get out of here. Feel yourself sinking. Oh Jesus. Hot. Yeah, this is mud, eh? Yeah. Oh mate, look at this. Look at this guys, we're here. This is the river. We wanted to go uh it's not far, maybe a few kilometers that way, but yeah, look at that little tree in the water there. Yeah. Which is a steep. Yeah, mate, that was a cross I seen over here. Really? Yeah. What, just near this snag there, that black thing, or further up? Nah, further up. What is that black thing there? I don't know. It'd be nice to find a spot not so steep. Because the boat would just go... Shoo, drop in there. So we might follow the bank around. I reckon we're going to follow this the river around for a little bit. Look for a good spot to put the boat in. And get in the water. I'm, I'm sick of the quad bike. <laughs> I'm ready for cruising down the river with a breeze on us. Nice and cool. It's been a tough, tough day to get to here. What do you reckon? Cruise around, follow the river till we find a good spot? Sounds good. Uh, Jordan reckons he might have found a spot. It's been a challenge trying to find a spot to get the boat in because they're really steep banks. And slide that way. Slide it straight in, nose there, and then reverse out. It's still a bit. I think I can tip there. It's over the edge, eh? Now well, yeah, it's proving to be a challenge just to get the boat in the water. We're trying to find a spot where we can just reverse this trailer down. You know, the easiest way to reverse it in, take the boat off and go have some fun but it's looking like every spot we get to we're gonna have to 
push the boat up onto the grass, unload all the gear, try and push it manually into the water, then reload it. Not very ideal. No, not in the middle of the day. So I'm going to send the drone down the river a bit, and because um, we just got to another big mud flat, that salt pan that we don't really want to cross, and see if we can find somewhere a bit easier. Away from the dune. There you go, guys. You can see us sitting there in the shade of the boat. We're trying to get the boat into this river. We are in the middle of nowhere. We found a spot, so the drone worked, such a good tool, um, the spot is right here, so we're thinking if I can land a wheel on either side of this little gully here, and then it's it's less than the wheel span between the quad and the trailer wheels down to the water, so I can land the rear wheels in the water, hopefully and push the boat in, and we're off, in the water, finally, far out, and then we got some nice high ground here to leave the quad for a couple of days. Mate, we're in the water. <laughs> that feels bloody good. Right, let's, um, I'll jump in and make sure this motor starts. Oh, how's my beautiful cast X? <laughs> I'm going to mark our position on the map on my phone and the map on the sounder, the Ray Marine. So we know exactly where the quad is. Now while Jordan's rigging up, on a serious note, if you're going to do anything like this, make sure you carry plenty of water. Um, you know, we've been caught out a couple of times where we've run out of fresh water and luckily nothing went wrong with the boat we were able to get back. but. Um, you just need to think of the worst case scenario. So if you run out of water and then you get bogged or you have an accident or something, you, you run out, you've got no water, you're in trouble. Um, also carry a sat phone. So on board we have a satellite phone. We also have a Spot X, which is like a, you know, like a personal e beacon in a way. Um, you can also send text messages on it. And people can track you from wherever you are. Um, and what else, mate? What else do you need to be safe out here? Always be crockwise. Crockwise, that is a big one. We're in croc country, some big saltwater crocodiles in here. They don't see many humans, so, um, and they're bigger than our boat, which is hard to believe, but they're much longer than our boat. Yeah. But on a fun note, let's get down to the river mouth, find a good camp, catch some fish for dinner, sit in the shade, have a fire. Oh, sounds good. Hopefully yeah. the hard work's done. Yeah. Caught behind the Venetian blind. Try to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, mana, what I become I've been running east Looking for sense Digging deep Since now, now Yeah, that's that, the, the 
wood looks good. That low looks really good in the water. Yeah, yeah let's, I reckon we'll get something here. Alrighty guys, it is, the time is going off the screen. I think it's about 4.30. We still haven't seen the mouth, so that's my main goal. To me, I like to get to a spot, find a camp to know that we've got somewhere safe to sleep for the night. Um, so hopefully the mouth has some nice she oaks around. But the next thing is obviously, oh, there's a big boy up the back there is to find some dinner you know we've got no food so this spot looks as good as any hopefully catch a barra and then go and set up the hammocks yeah. oh jordan found them i'm tying on a plastic there's a deep hole over here jordan's got the slim twitcher on and a barra here go laser oh has he got a got laser pro he's got one yes Oh, you got the stick. He dropped it. He dropped it. <sighs> Damn stick. Oh, you're going to go on some dinner. <laughs> so they're in there, you reckon? Yeah. I've seen two, well, one swam out, that one was sitting in there. Oh, oh God. God. he's dropped it again. <laughs> oh, maybe I should be flicking in there with you. Oh no. What were they? Two tarpon or salmon or something? Right in there, mate. Right in there, mate. Yep. Oh. Dropped it. First cast in there. He wasn't that big, but there's a barrel. Right? Buddy. There. Yes, keep him down, keep him down. Still got him? Yep. Oh, he let go. Oh my god, check those trebles. <laughs> what? what is going on with this? <laughs> that one looks like an alright little fish. Now, it's only a little fish, but I'm netting it because. I want dinner. Yes. Yes, mate. Yes, yes, yes. We finally hooked him. Oh, yeah, we got dinner. Dinner. That's, I'm absolutely stoked. What do you need, Plies? Just take him out. That's all we need, that's all we need. A fish that size will feed me and Jordan. Oh, yeah. I don't know what we'll do, whether we cook him whole on the coals or or um, do the beer batter. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how we go with camp. That's dinner. <laughs> Get him on the brag, mate. So eh? stoked. <laughs> Measure him up. Yeah, okay. Get our eye in. <laughs> 60 and a half. 60 and a half. Look at that. <laughs> Happy days. What else could you ask for? That's pretty well it, eh? Hey? Yeah. What an afternoon. The wind's dropping off. Just bleed him. Yep. Bleed him, we're keeping him. Jordo is on again. I'm on a roll today. Sorry, guys, I'll get these cameras sorted. Everything's flat. Well, not flat, but I don't know. Yeah, well, the cameras are flat and my batteries are under the car stack and I'm just not set up real good just yet. But we will be filming the actual fishing tomorrow, the actual catching side of it. But um, right now, we've got dinner. Jordan's got his second barrel, which looks identical to that first one. I reckon he'd be pretty close to the same size. Ah, oh, he's griefing me with this one. Nailed him with the Helco Laser Pro. Yeah. That's a shallow yeah. one, hey? It's like one and a half or something. Yeah. It's just one. One. one With that little bib on, that little kinked bib. I'm too busy trying to tie on a new leader and getting eaten alive by midges. But um, I'll get back in there. Nice little barra. I don't know, I think the other one felt a bit fatter. Yeah? Yeah, looking at that now, he was, for sure. We got the good one for dinner. Yeah, mate. All right, see you, mate. Send him back. Good job, bro. That's right.
Well, we're at the mouth. Give you guys a clean. We're at the mouth and it's not really what I was expecting. There's no she oaks. There's normally big she oaks on either side to tie the hammocks up to. There doesn't appear to be any, but we've got these. There's an old quad bike up there with some eskies, like old eskies, and there's some kind of camp up the back here. We're gonna go check it out now. Yeah. Have a look at this old lean to. So I'm sorry I did a lousy job of filming back there. Jordo caught two barra and like had another 10 bites, I reckon. Yeah. Dropped them. I was getting eaten alive by midges and trying to tie a leader. Finally, I'm um, tied one on. Got a slim twitcher out there, bite straight away, and he buried me in the sticks and um, couldn't get him back out. So, oh, there's kangaroos in here. Oh, there's an old trailer. This might be like a pro crabbers camp or something. Hello? Friendly. <laughs> we are friendly. We bring no harm. It has to be stationed. The station, yeah. It has to be. What? <laughs> Big D. Oh, his name's Big D. Wow, Sorry, what a camp, it's guys. Abu Garcia, C stick. Oh, it's still good. Still yeah. at least one Spray cast. Spray a bit left. of WD-40 <laughs> onto it. And... Right. I don't know if we should have a bit of a sticky beak. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's really been using it. Probably a big old python in here somewhere. Oh no. I think this is a dingo. Mm. Old net. Clear out the snakes. Oh, there's a TV in there. See if we can watch the footy tonight. Yeah. Tools and stuff here in the ground. Screwdriver, scrimpers, huh. even, even toothpicks. This will tell us when do you expire. <laughs> do they do these things expire? No, oh, I don't know. Probably not. Yeah. I love finding spots like this, like a bit spooky, but at the same time, it's just someone's history. You don't know what's happened here, right? Yeah, it's like it's someone's history. And what did they do here? It's head torches everywhere. Look at this skull. Look at that. High lift jack. Whoa. Another. What do you, what do you call that? Another cold room. High lift jack. Oh, we call them a wallaby jack. Wallaby <laughs> jack. I have heard that before. That would have been handy to get the trailer back on the quad bike today. Like, look at some of the stuff here. Mm. Uh, it's like someone's come through here and trashed it. You know what I mean? Like, there's some good gear here, and someone's just come through and just trashed the joint. Well, there's wheelchairs here. This looks like one of those, um, uh, what do they call them? Beach almond? Something like that. Not a little lure, but this one's just a bar of classic that he's sprayed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I reckon someone, this, this has been someone's serious camp. But it doesn't look like they've slept here in a while. Anyway, we're going to find our own camp. I don't really want to sleep here. Yeah, not really. Another reel there on the ground. <laughs> Look at that rig! <laughs> what? That is a ripper! Oh, man. That's cool. I wonder if they had any like fruit trees or anything growing around here. Big ass boat trailer. Someone's spent a lot of time out here. That is sick. That's awesome. I'm going to go for a look around the other side. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> That's so cool. Esky on wheels. Yeah, so I don't want to camp here. There was another camp of sorts a bit further up with a big ass tree out the back that we could tie up in. I think we checked that one out. Have a cook up. I'm absolutely exhausted, so it's going to be a nice cruisy afternoon now. So good getting to a really remote river mouth, 
far north Queensland in Gulf Country, another river that I've never been to before. Love it, this is what it's all about. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble, look at this. Concrete slab. What? What was this place? If anyone knows what this was, let me know, comment below. Imagine it's some kind of fishing camp from Karumba. I can't believe they just leave though and leave, leave everything. Crazy. Who likes this stuff? Comment below, tell me if you like this stuff. Cause to me, wild reaches coming to like these super remote river mouths. What a day, rolling the trailer twice. Oh, just a huge day to get to a spot like this and it's all worthwhile. I love it. There's gonna be a lot more of this to come. Oh, there's a tinny up there. Looks like a punt. Something's been laying there. Oh, look at that. It's copped a flogging. A couple of props in there. Wow. I wish this time of night lasted all night. <laughs> you know, the golden hour where it's like we've probably got 45 minutes till that sun goes down. But it's the best time of day. Especially up here, all day you're just dying. And then um, first thing in the morning and then this time of day it's awesome. Look at this, jump leads. Far out, there's all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's a baler shell. That's a big one. Look at that. Beauty. So the indigenous, I'd love to find one. The indigenous, the Aboriginals used to cut a section out um, of two of them, of two baler shells. And then they'd mount them on their Woomera, on the end of, on the, end of the Woomera on either side. I think they used um, oh, beeswax, I think, back in those days to hold it on. But I'd love to find an old baler shell where they've actually used it. You can see where they've cut it out. I'm not sure how dangerous they are. Throw them on the fire and run. Yeah. <laughs> There's an old tinny up there too, punt. <laughs> How do you want to cook the barra? Batter Which... it. Yeah, do the beer batter? Knock the sides off. Okay. Batter him up. Could batter those chips too. Yeah, might as well do that tonight, hey? Yeah. Have a good screen. Yep. Hopefully this tree's good. Looks good. <laughs> That's it there, guys. That big sucker right down there. I reckon that's how they got it all here. What? It's a truck. I thought it was a tractor. Holy sh What does this say? C R A N Crane. Maybe this used to be some kind of crane. North, west, crane higher. North. <laughs> wow. What a weapon, and the whole rear end just rusted away to nothing. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I wonder how long that's been there. That's crazy. Alright, what else we got? Good fire pit. A few cans in there. Well, that is not a good hammock tree. Really? But we could go maybe up to there. Snaky looking spot. Alright, we gotta find a tree for these hammocks. This is 
not a good feeling when the sun's dropping. Oh no, this tree is not good. You hear wallabies jumping around out there. All I can think is we tie up there across the two different spots on here and we just have to climb up on a barrel to get in I think that's going to be the go Alright mate, I've got a bit of a plan Yeah? Yeah, I think it'll work I think it's too late to try and look for anywhere else Yeah, I think it's here or here or never Yeah I think we might wrap up the episode guys because the sun is going down we just anchored the boat obviously you guys know the drill anchor out the front off the bow stern line to a tree or to a truck um, and then he can swing around in the tide and in the wind and do whatever it wants and then in the morning hopefully because it's going to be a super low tide in the morning but hopefully we can still get to the boat um, Jordan's going to knock the fillets off his barra and um, be about a barra be about a barren and chips, chips chip potatoes. Yeah. I think they're in the bucket over there. Yeah, I saw them there. Okay. Um, yeah, just exhausted. But I'll film a little bit of dinner and put that in, you know, later like I do. So maybe get a drone shot of the sunset. Yeah, there. I might get the drone up. Mm. It is absolutely amazing. Just hiding behind the trees at the moment. What a spot! How good's that breeze feel? Yes. <laughs> so good. Um, All right. Once again, thanks to Jordo having us up here on country mate i don't think many people have done what we did today no um, one of the reasons is you can't get in here so all good mate anytime okay thanks for watching guys thanks for being a part of this adventure make sure you subscribe tell your mates do all that stuff get your merch wildreaches.com and we'll see you all in the morning big day exploring this river hopefully find some big barra i think we will <laughs> it'll be a good day all right good night see ya